And so, in conclusion, I agree with Kara that the labyrinth with the Minotaur, not the David Bowie one, is in fact a social commentary for venereal disease. Thank you. Thank you, PZ. Laura? So I asked around online for a new fairy tale, one that no one has ever seen before. And someone anonymously sent in one called The Rosemaker. So thanks to whoever sent that one in, but I'm just going to read it first and then that will lead into my topic. isn't it? Not a sweeter or fairer flower exists. But how unusual a flower it is. Its petals are soft as silk, but heavy like velvet. Its color as red as blood, the bulb rich with scent, and the stem guarded by thorns as sharp as a sword. But how did such a strange and lovely thing come to be? Orphan child, he had journeyed all across the world, seeking a home and a family. Thus far, he had not been successful in his quest. Though he could not speak or write, it was not impossible for him to make his point. It came to pass that the wanderer found himself in a small village in the east of Ireland. He lodged with an old woman and her husband. It was a place to lay his head at night, but he tried to stay out of the house whenever he could, because the man and wife... endure the constant fighting at that house, for it was in this land, in a school built by the last Gaelic lord of that county, where he thought he had finally found home and family. It was a pristine art academy, where peasant students were taught the great crafts of civilization. And so they all learned and laughed and played together. That girl was the most beautiful soul the wanderer had ever met. But everything he tried to get his feelings across. At a certain point, he realized he needed help.
She adored the rose. But of course he could not say it was from him. And that was not his only heartbreak. As winter loomed, word came that the English lord of the county had conscripted all the men of the village. And as his heart grew cold, so did the rose. But it did not die completely. Every spring, the men could return to the village. As his heart warmed, Rose revived, but when he would go away the following winter, the rose would wither down to nearly nothing once again. Now no one... Okay, class, we'll pick it up tomorrow with the rest of Laura's presentation. Laura, next time just get straight to the point, okay? Oh my god, Laura, I am so sorry. He's such a jerk, don't listen to him. I promise I'm going to tell the school newspaper about this and they're going to publish a huge article oh, and it'll get right to the point about that. Bye. I liked that you read the story. Oh, thanks. So, how does it end? Huh? Oh, well, no one knows what became of the wanderer and the girl. But, whatever their fate, that one rose began to seed. And as those seeds grew into new flowers, they too withered in the winter and bloomed in the spring. And long after, both the wanderer and the girl were gone. It was the spring that the people of that village came to call the Rose Maker. Nice. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>